Shalom. Uh, praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. That was honest to the apostles and the elders. The great millstone, the real well. Peace and salutation to the brothers and hopeful elect out there pushing this word. Truth and sincerity. Alright. Um, just, uh, just a little in transit on what's going on, what's taking place today. Today is, uh, Know that so called uh, the election day <laughs> in which uh you know it's gonna be the so called runoff between uh <laughs> Joseph Biden and Donald or DJ Trump, Donald J. Trump. Alright. So uh things might you know might be a little civil unrest, you never know. Uh, we we hope it's so, you know, because we know that uh, that, that's going to bring, you know, more prophecies, you know, different things going to occur, because it's the, the, that's what we're looking for, alright, so, you know, because they said if, if, if Biden get in office, <laughs> then the Trump supporters are going to be furious, and want to, you know, just be in the uproar, and cause unrest, or, if, if, uh, Trump get in office, same thing with the uh, Biden supporters. So, thing is, it's it's a lot of things that's on the horizon. A lot of things that's happening. Still got, you know, we're still dealing with the COVID nineteen, you know, the coronavirus and then the vaccines and everything. So it's <laughs> be encouraged. It's, it's a lot of things happening. A lot of things popping off. Yeah, and a lot of prophecy is going to be continue to come to pass. All right, so it's not a time to stray away from the word. But it's a time to, you know, as a as Apostle Rabbi said, our hands on deck. You know, get in where you fit in. Get that work. Okay. Uh, First, I want I want to get this in Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Uh, says, "Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord shall choose." Okay, I'm uh, gonna be just kind of worthily paraphrasing the scriptures because we're not supposed to be out here voting and and thinking that they're they're really gonna make a change as to our situation as Israelites, you know, because we're looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. That's the only thing that we have to look forward to. Okay? Because if you're looking for things to get better here in this kingdom or in this society, in this world, you're looking for the wrong thing. All right? Because our hope is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's it. That's where our hope lies. <laughs> he is truly our only hope. Alright? So this is the time that you don't need to stray away. This is the time to really truly lean in and home in in this word and get to you know get to it you know don't be slothful you know if you need to work on being a better you know a better servant better brother work on that work get to it all right so don't don't fall for that especially with these uh these unity camps and things talking about we all need to come together as a people and you know <laughs> don't fall for that because that's not what Yahweh came to do matter of fact in Matthew 10 uh, 34 he said think not, uh, think not that I've come to send peace on the earth but I came to send us I came to send a sword not peace I then uh, he also said in, in uh, Luke, he says, "Suppose that ye can, suppose 
ye that I am come to give peace on the earth, I tell you nay. Alright, Yahweh said nay. He ain't come to bring peace on the earth, but rather division. Okay? And what is there going to be that division? The division between the, the elect versus, you know, everyone else. Because the elect are not going to be liked here in this kingdom, here in this world. Because they're going to, they're the opposite of, uh, of wickedness. The elect are not gonna be not gonna be with wickedness. They're not gonna be with unrighteousness. Because we want righteousness established with the hope of the elect. We want righteousness established here in the earth. Okay. And then uh Yahweh even went further in it to say that for I came not to set, so like he said, uh I came to set a man at various against his father, you know, mother against daughter, uh, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So he came to send division. And why? Because that's how we know that Esau's kingdom is going to be taken down. Because you got to remember, if, uh, you know, if a house divided against itself cannot stand, So if, if a house is divided against itself, how can it stand? If you got one people saying this, one people saying that, you know, you can't, that, that, you can't stand with that. You got to be on one accord. And uh, uh, the elect will be on one accord with Yahweh Shah in what his words say. Part. Let me uh I want to get that scripture in uh Deuteronomy chapter 12 and 15. It says, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall shall choose, one from among thy brethren. So why are we choosing the lesser of the two evils? Because in the end we're still choosing evil. <laughs> so I mean you choose and get fucked. With Vaseline or without no Vaseline, you you choosing to get mauled by a mountain lion or a bear? Which one you want? You know that's why the whole choosing the lesser of the two evils that's a that's a stupid concept. Okay, uh, but he says, "Shall uh, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose." One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee, thou that thou mayest not set a stranger. So like he says, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee which is not thy brother. And that's all we do when we choose in these, you know, these presidential candidates and different things. Them people, they, they don't represent us. They don't care about us. Cause you gotta remember that they, they're for they're for keeping you down. They're not for. Uh, having the Israelites, having Jake prosper. Why would they be? Because think about it. If we were to prosper in their kingdom, that would bring them down. Because the only way we're going to prosper is to bring them down. All right? But, uh, but we, how was I bringing division? You know, people, you know, the people of the world always talking about come together, we need to unite. We don't need to be fighting against each other. We all need to come together as one people. They don't realize it, but they're really just talking that New World Order talk. Okay? That's all that is. <laughs> because you know, the Most High has, has been a separatist since the beginning. He divided the nations, set their bounds. He uh, he loved Jacob, hate Esau, or he put by Esau. Um uh, you know, he chose Jacob out of uh, out of out of the bunch. You know, he, he's already that lets you know that everyone is not equal. That lets you know that the Most High 
does not deal with everyone in an equal playing field. Okay? But I, I just wanted to just give my, my little thoughts on uh what's what's happening or what's you know what's possibly on the horizon or gonna occur after uh you know after these presidential selections, you know, when everybody go out and cast their wishes for who they want. Alright. Which it doesn't mean anything anyway. But but yeah, that's uh that's all I really had on that. So uh uh call all you how about shimmy how shy about shimmer cockwood dash uh you know the water you know hopefully see you back with another lesson.